All right, guys, so we've got a question from Joy, and she says, I have had always what I call extremely vivid dreams almost every night, but I'm wondering if they're actually lucid dreams. She's not really sure whether these are lucid dreams or whether they're just really vivid. Now, this is an important distinction to make because, like I've explained in the different layers of a lucid dream in those videos before, which you can find on my, on my channel, obviously, if you are that way inclined, there are different layers of lucidity. Okay, so it's not just about having a vivid dream or having a lucid dream or having both. There are different layers and this is a spectrum. There is not one sort of state which is decidedly lucid and one which is decidedly not lucid. Although there are certain things which help you define the different states, there are, they also exist. That's a crazy amount of wasps just flying into my window. There are different states in between being lucid and not being lucid known as the different layers, right? Layer one, well, all the way actually from layer zero up to layer five and six, which I'm gonna get onto eventually in the future videos because I've started to make these videos, you know, I've made up to layer, I think three or four now. Um, and I'm sure you guys wanna see what layer zero and layer five and six are all about. However, a vivid dream is higher up on the spectrum towards lucidity than a non-vivid dream because when you're lucid, in theory, everything is clear. The word lucid literally means clear. So the whole experience that you should be having when you're lucid, especially when you get onto these higher levels, these higher layers, is a clear, vivid experience, right? So obviously if you're having these hyper vivid and intense lucid, uh, sorry, normal, normal dreams, if you're having these vivid normal dreams, you are stepping closer towards lucidity. You might not be lucid because the textbook definition of lucid dreaming is to be aware of the fact you're dreaming while you're in a dream. The textbook definition doesn't really explain things like layers and like the level of awareness that you have, it just says you have to be aware of lucid dreaming while you're in a dream. Now that could happen in one dream, so you can have one person who is technically lucid, right, they're aware of the fact they're dreaming, but the dream lasts five seconds and then they wake themselves up, or they're aware of the fact they're dreaming but they can't really see anything. It's just like a hazy mess of a dream scene. Technically, that guy, or that girl, having that dream is lucid, whereas somebody like the person asking the question, Joy, could be having a hyper-vivid dream, like really detailed and intricate details everywhere, but if they're not aware of the fact they're dreaming, technically, they're not lucid. Now, obviously, in that situation, it's better to have the non-lucid dream because it's more vivid. Right, because when you wake up, you can have the more vivid memories, and it's more interesting than just having, yeah, you might be aware of the fact you're dreaming, right? But if it's not vivid, and if you can't recall the details of it, then what's the point? Because, yeah, you just, just to be able to say, yeah, I had a lucid dream. To be able to say that and have the bragging rights to be able to say that you've had a lucid dream is not as important as vividly remembering intricate details of a dream scene. Ideally, Right, and that's always the goal here. Ideally, you want to have both. You want to be lucid, aware of the facts you're dreaming while you're dreaming, and have a vivid dream that you can remember. These two go hand in hand, and when you have both of them, oh man, that's, that's a really profound experience right there. When you have a vivid dream that you're lucid in, that you can remember, that is when you get into some serious, fun, and life-changing territory. But, to bring this full circle back to the question, yes, you can have a vivid dream, that isn't lucid, and you can have a lucid dream that isn't vivid. But ideally, you wanna have both. And the way, you get, the way you get to having both is by working on your dream recall and your lucid dreaming, your awareness. They go hand in hand, and you'll find that when you work on one, it improves the other. As with anything in life, a holistic approach is always the best approach because the human body, the human, the human form, and the world around it are very complex things. You can't improve one thing specifically without having an effect on all of the other things. So you have to improve everything at once. And I know that's not easy, but it's the best way of doing it. It's the best way of getting healthy, it's the best way of having lucid dreams, and it's the best way of pretty much approaching any problem. It's always a holistic problem. It's never one specific thing, because you'll find that if you can't remember your dreams, you might not be meditating enough. If you're not meditating enough, then you might not be aware enough in your reality checks, and they all sort of interlink in one way or another. The world's a very complex place. So yes, you can have vivid dreams. You can have lucid dreams. Ideally, you wanna have both. So.